What's going on guys, Boomer Soon here. Today we have a very, very different video from what I usually do. Uh, E3 was a couple of days ago and I kind of wanted to do a little video um, about that, addressing some of the games that were revealed. Um, I do believe I missed a few games out, that's why I say some, not all of the games. What will basically happen is on screen uh, it will be displayed a board of games and the platform they're on and if you see one that you're interested in then go and look in the description below where I'll hopefully have a trailer or an article linked to every single one of the um, games that you see on screen. Now the different colours are blue is more minor games, ones that are less popular. Um, again, every game is important, every game is popular, but you know the ones that are less mainstream to put it like that. Um, the green games are ones that are sort of second tier, so, you know, a good majority of people like them, but they don't really feature on my channel too much. You maybe see them from time to time, but never something I'll do a huge amount for. And the last one, the red colour, is games that I will definitely be featuring on the channel. Obviously Battlefield 1 will be there, will be there. Um, Call of Duty will be there. Now, Star Wars Battlefront 2, because we're not sure what it's called yet, if it's 2, if it's something new, um, but it's definitely going to be something I feature on my channel. Titanfall 2, I want to do, but it depends if I actually bother to get the game or not. Um, and the COD Remastered is obviously going to be something I really want to do on my channel because people are really looking forward to that. Um, so I think it'll be something cool to do. So now for most of these sort of minor games, like I said, um, nothing hugely here that will catch the eye. A 100 foot robot golf seems pretty cool. Uh, not really sure how, how fun it will be, but you know, why not give it a go. There is one game here that I think people will kind of have a go at me. In fact, there are three games in the minor category I think people have a go at me for. Um, the Elder Scrolls car game, I put there because people love the Elder Scrolls games, but the card game is a bit of a, you know, who's really going to play that. Same for the Gwent card game. People are kind of going to think, well, hang on, it's, it's you know, it's it's The Witcher, you have to put it there. And the last one that I do question myself as well is Zelda. I've never played Zelda, and I put it in the minor category because it's on the Wii U and the new Nintendo NX. So nobody really owns one of those, uh, and for the same reason that I sort of thought, nobody really plays uh, Zelda as I understand. Nobody in my group at all, so... I didn't put it there out of spite, saying, oh, it's Zelda, it shouldn't, it's not a major game. I put it there at the fact that I don't know who plays it, I've never played it myself, and as far as I know, it's not that popular, or it's not as popular as it has been in a few years. Now for the next one, Batman VR seems pretty cool. Death Stranding seems insane, I really want to see what happens there. The new Elder Scrolls Remastered for Skyrim, I'm kind of confused, but uh, above that, Detroit Become Human is amazing. For Honor, I... I can't wait to get in that game. Halo Wars 2. I played the first one, I loved it, and I just can't wait for this one to come out again. Mass Effect Andromeda, of course, I'm excited for that. Um, the Star Wars Battle t Battlefront titles, or the Star Wars titles for Visceral and Respawn seem cool. Watch Dogs 2, I, I literally can't wait for. And then finally, the last slide, Battlefield 1, of course, is the number one game in there. And thank you to Matimio for the gameplay you see at the start of the video, here at the end, and of course, in the background throughout this video. Now, this was an extremely short, uh, near pointless video, but I just kind of wanted to do it because I wanted to find out every game that was at E3. And while doing that, I sort of thought, you know, why not make it into a video, including all the trailers? That way, if somebody watches this, then they can at least go up and, you know, see the trailers down below in the description. So, if you do see a game and you think, hey, I wouldn't mind about that more, the new God of War trailer is amazing, and it is definitely something worth seeing. Days Gone is another game that looks pretty exciting. Um, but until then, uh, until the next video, Blue Monsoon, out.